Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Tactical and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Before we start, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the notifications to be sent to our watch. So, now first, find the Garmin Connect icon in the app menu, so swipe up on the screen, open the app menu, find the Garmin Connect icon, press and hold on it, this pop-up should appear, and tap on the app info. In the app info, select the permissions, and now we need to allow a couple permissions. We need to allow the uh, call logs, contacts, phone, and SMS. So, let's allow them. So, tap on one, tap on allow, then go back. Uh, tap on one, uh, allow, go back, phone, allow, go back, and, oh, my bad, SMS, allow, and come back. Okay, so we allow the call logs, contacts, uh, phone, and SMS. Now we can close the, this menu, open the settings on our phone. In settings, we need to I find the notification access. On the older uh, Androids, because this is the newer Android, uh, I believe this is the Android 12, but I may be wrong. Uh, but on the older Androids, you can just tap on search, type in uh, notification access. And it should redirect you to the right page and there you can basically select the Garmin Connect application on the list, tap on allow and allow it. On the newer Android, you need to scroll down, tap on the notifications, tap on device and app notifications, find the Garmin Connect right here on the list, and then you have allow notification access and you can tap on the switch, tap on allow to allow it. As you can see, I already got the notifications on, new, on, on the watch once we allowed it, but after you allow the notifications, you can open the Garmin Connect application on your phone. Tap on the menu icon, scroll down, tap on Garmin devices, tap on Instinct to, uh, to Solar Tactical to select it. Here, scroll down, find the notifications and alerts option, tap on smart notifications, and we have general use during activity and signature. Tap on general use, this is when you're using your uh, watch normally, not tracking any activity, and make sure that the option is enabled for the notifications to uh, work. Now, you can customize some options. You can tap, for example, on calls, and here you can enable them. And alerts for the calls or disable the alerts for the calls. You can enable the tone, so the sound, or disable it, and the vibration you can also enable or disable it. Then we can tap on text, and we can and do the same for text. So basically select the options you like. Next we have apps. Uh, and uh, below apps we have privacy and we can select press start or wrist gesture. I believe uh, you will need to press either start button or uh, perform the wrist gesture to be able to check the notifications. And then we have timeout. So basically how quickly they will disappear from the screen. And you can select 30 seconds, one minute and three minutes. Okay, now let's go back to the notifications, tap on during activity, and here you can basically do the same thing. Customize your settings for the uh, different types of uh, notifications. Okay, and once you're done, you can simply close the app, and now you should be able to receive the notifications on your watch. And if you want to check the notifications, I believe you can Press the, uh, yes, press the up button uh, on, on the home screen. So basically, if you're on the home screen, on the main watch face face, or rather watch face page, my bad, you can press the up slash menu button to scroll up, and it will open the notifications menu. As you can see, I have a couple notifications here, one from Garmin, one from Facebook. You can press the GPS button to open this widget, and here you can view the notifications 
you can then select one, press GPS, and basically read it. And then you can, I believe, press back button to go back. Also, you can press the back button here, and you can't really clear them. I'm, really, I'm pretty sure you should be able to clear the notifications. Oh no, that's... Oh, when you're in the notification. So if you select the notification, uh, press the GPS to enter and read it. You can press the GPS again. And here you have dismiss, block the app. So you can dismiss it to keep the notifications like this. Okay. And as you can see, now we have zero notifications. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.